Hey, yo, listeners, and welcome back. Welcome back to the Everyman's Journey into Reality 2.0. We are just digging up gold the last couple days uh, because we got the Fiat 131 Evarth, which is like one of the most well behaved rear wheel drive H2s I've ever found. And then I invested in this BMW E30 M3 because A, I love the car. Notice a boxy fender flare trend, anyone? Maybe, maybe. Uh, and again, in the H3 class, it's a beautiful thing. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go hard in Argentina for a long, Stop twisty 60, stage at night, in the rain, in the mud, because that seems all I drive these days, because goddamn, it'll be fun, because this car is beautiful, and it sounds amazing, and it's nice to handle, even though it's really slippy here, and I promise no guarantees for a successful run. This is the second time I've driven this car, and just like the Avarith, I am in love with how this thing handles, man. It feels so nice. So left. planted, baby. 30. So nice. Right. Very long. So Put nice. Crest. 40. Four right. Opens and slow. We're gonna try Keep to right focus to here a little bit. It is very slippy, mind you. So we do have to be a bit careful Six how we left. feed in the power. 50. Because we will slip like crazy on this terrain. But again, this car is relatively compliant. So let's try and make that not so bad, yeah? And again, this is new to us, so really down on power compared to our competitors here. We have no engine tuning to speak of right now. So we're going to be down a goodly amount of horsepower. But really what I want to do is kind of get a good clean run here. See how slippery this is? Luckily, we can catch a lot here because the car is relatively planted, relatively neutral. Got even on a six, you much we're sliding. This is heavy gravel and it's wet. So we have a lot of delay and in input. And then once it starts biting, it might not always bite because, frankly, there's not much to bite on. It slips. A two here, isn't there? Again, I can't see too much because of the rain and the nighttime. It is heavy rain, not just like a little bit, it's a lot of rain. So we're gonna be a little more conservative. And you'll see that I made the calls go a little earlier. And lately I've been a little bit frustrated with Phil being a little late on all his calls. So I actually uh, inputted it so he actually calls it earlier. And so far it's been pretty good. So we are slowing down a bit here, but mostly because I can't freaking see anything. Right, extra long of a crest. I was around the bridge, not over the bridge. But I missed the turn. <laughs> My bad. Ah! That's not good. Right, nipped off that uh, <laughs> that boulder and went right into the wall. That's really unlucky. Because there's not much I could have reacted once the butt came around on me after hitting that cut stone. And this is going to really cost us time because we're going to have less vision because we just lost, I think, some of our lights on the front. And obviously the reset's going to cost a lot of time as well. Come on now. It's unfortunate. Man, we're slipping so much more than I expect in these tight, twisty bits. I thought with lower speed it would be tighter, but I guess not. We super... Yeah, look how slow... The input lag right. is very long. Titans don't cut. Yeah, there's problems, man. Left. Titans over crash bump. Where's the hairpin? It's over there. Five right long. Titans one. Titans over here. Opens and Titans over crest. This is a challenging course. Even on a good day, it's a challenging course, and this is a rough day of weather. Right. Another steer. We're a little too sideways there. It's going to lose us time by a large margin. Oh, I'm just feeling way slippier than I expected. It felt a lot more forgiving under higher speed, which is interesting. It didn't expect. I expected it to be much more forgiving under... Make sure we don't fuck up this bridge. Under lower speed, but all right. Make it happen. 
Uh, I'm just really sad about nipping off that rock. I really killed our chance of having a really good time here. Caution over a narrow bridge. Just put in two, get the revs up. Here we go hit the bridge. Not much room, I'm afraid. They have a one. It's going to tighten still. Fifty of an arrow bridge into three right cut titans into three left titans. Ah, didn't pay attention there. That lost us about a second. Completely breaking in a straight line, not listening and not thinking about the next turn. That's a problem with this particular area. Like you get the next turn wrong, and you're just not set up for the next one. So one mistake actually cost you like a lot of time over multiple corners. It's a little unfortunate, but okay. Come on, get in there. Thirty. I guess two car suffers. It does three left long of a crest. Alright. And this is rear-wheel drive, so obviously we're controlling throttle input and output coming out of the corners so we don't spin. Into six left. Into caution, two right long, tightens up an arrow bridge. Yeah, that's very, very important. There's so many bridges here. We don't want to miss this because it really sucks to get hung up on a bridge. Into a hairpin, don't fall off the mountain. I'm going to take this casually, kick, kick the rear end in, avoid those rocks. Six left long, 50. You can see already a minute down. Uh, thanks to that spin, we really lost a lot of time, at least 10 seconds, if not more. So, I don't know if it's going to hurt as far as timing goes. I thought we'd be going quicker than this, honestly, but alright. We are we are underpowered here. <laughs> as the electrics go off for a second, it's like, yeah, hey, remember you have lights here, buddy. Don't fuck them up. <laughs> oh, game. You just hate me, I know. But yeah, like I said, we're, we're way low on power compared to our competitors, so we're going to be slower out of every corner, especially in twisty sections. It's going to cost us. Probably could have taken that in second when it open, but in the slippy, I'd rather just take it in first to make sure we don't have any problems. The heavy gravel and the input lag don't want to get into too much trouble. But I do think this timing for Phil is much better. We're only five seconds down on that sector, which is not bad. And we should show how bad that uh, that spin was and going into the rock, how much it slowed us down. Oh well. Well like I said. Oh, I almost hit that rock and into one right Titans. Thirty. But again, this car has been just such a blessing in how neutral it is. And really the only errors we've made are due to me rather than the car being twitchy, so I'm pretty comfortable into that, in the sense that I'm not really fighting the machine, I'm just fighting myself not to fuck this up, which is always a great place to be, because then you can at least control that aspect. When the machine starts getting twitchy on you, that's when it gets bad. Hey, was that a hairpin or something? Why was that? Oh, come on. That was a two. How was that a hair... How in God's name was that a hairpin? I mean, a two. Oh, definitely a hairpin. Tight that was. That was annoying. So I really lost his time there. The two. And it's like, no, we're gonna turn directly around. I turned off the auto braking down here too, because it's very, very irritating. To have like randomly just absolutely destroy your car's adjustment after you land. Yeah, I mean that last hang up was really annoying because that said that was a two and that was <laughs> that was not a two, even if it tightens. Yeah, we could have had a much better time there. Jesus Christ is there again, so or at least we're more or less on, tra <laughs> on track. Yeah, but I mean, this is in the same class as the Lancia Stratos, and it's, this is just so much more controlled and planted. The same class as the Datsun, for God's sake. So, uh, again, I'm looking forward to learning this and the Fiat Abarth uh, much more. And it's going to be a pleasure to get uh, the bead on both of these things. But, um, yeah, hey man, we're starting to get really, really comfortable with rear-wheel drive, and I'm, I'm all for that. So, until next time, I'm a nurse. This has been the Everman's Journey. Till next time. Till then.